Welcome to Entabor Institute's video. In this video, we'll take a quick look at statistical distributions and why we recommend that you use triangular as a default distribution when performing Monte Carlo schedule risk analysis. Here are two common statistical distributions used when modeling duration uncertainty, triangular and beta. Of the two, triangular is a simpler uh, distribution to model. All that takes is a low, high, and most likely estimate. Some of the other distributions require uh, other parameters put in and can take a lot of time to model. Here we can see the triangular and log normal. Characteristically, scheduled distributions are right skewed with longer tails to the right. This is because in schedules, the ability to shorten the duration is limited, whereas there's really no limit to how much they could increase. Theoretically, uh, an activity or a project could go on infinitely. Dis different distribution types have different shapes. For example, higher peaks or longer tails, but does this really make a significant difference? When we model activity durations, we're re really modeling how long we think the activity will take to perform given uncertainties. We estimate the most likely, the lower optimistic duration, and the higher pessimistic duration, along with this statistical distribution. So we are providing boundaries as well as a shape to the expected results. After running the Monte Carlo simulations, we can analyze the outputs typically using P10 as our lower, very pessimistic duration, and mean as our base, and anywhere from P70 to P90 as our high or pessimistic result. The relative difference between the low and high results is a measure of how likely the results will vary from the mean. This is known as standard deviation is a measure of risk. All of these results give us insight into how risky a project is. With this explanation, let's take a uh, let's see how different statistical distributions affect these measures of risk. Let's take a quick look at an illustrative example in risky project. Here we have a project with 10 tasks with low, most likely, and high estimates. In this project, we've assigned a log normal distribution to all of them. And in this one, we've assigned a triangular. If we run a simulation and we go and take a look at the analysis, we can take a look at the project results, we can start to see what the The mean is 54.16 in the tr for the triangular. The P10 is 51, about 52, and the high is about 56. Now if we go to the log normal and run a calculation, if we go to the project summary, we can take a look at here, and we can see that the mean is 54, about 54, the low is 51, and the high is 57. So really, there are, is a little bit of different on the edges, but not a lot. So when we're modeling a project, typically the effort to go in and, and uh, assign something, a uh, distribution other than triangular is, is probably not going to give you very much of a difference in your outputs and your analysis of the schedule. What we can take away from this is that in almost all cases the type of statistical distribution you pick will not make a significant difference in your results. As triangular is the quickest to model, we recommend that it be your default selection, except in those cases where either historical data or expert opinion indicates otherwise. Thanks for viewing our video, and if you have any questions about this or any other videos we have on our site, please feel free to send us an email at mtrumper at